Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Faika bin Razmi uh, My metric number is 01DPU19F1035 Today I want to uh, explain about heat exchanger For introduction, heat exchanger, heat exchanger is a heat transfer device that exchanges heat between two or more process fluids Heat exchanger have which widespread industrial and domestic applications many types of heat exchanger have been developed for use in steam power plants chemical plants air conditioning system power station and refrigeration units the actual design of heat exchanger is a complicated problem it involves more than heat transfer analysis alone cost of uh, fabrication and install it. installation weight and size play important roles in the selection of the final design from a total cost of ownership point of view in many cases all, although cost in important consideration size and footprint often tend to be the dominant factors in choosing design uh, next, classification heat exchanger. Uh, this I will uh, explain about parallel flow. In parallel flow heat, in parallel flow heat exchanger, the two fluids enter the exchanger at the same end and travel in parallel to one another, to one another to other side. We can see based on the diagram the graph show the parallel movement okay thank you okay next i will uh, explain about counter flow in counter flow heat exchanger the fluids enter the exchanger from opposite end the counter current design is the most efficient in that it can transfer the most heat from the heat transfer medium per unit mass due to the fact that uh, that the average temperature difference along any unit length is higher. Okay, next is types of exchanger. Uh, I will uh, pass it to Mama Adi. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Mama Adi Baikal bin Shamsul Azrin. My metric number is one zero one nine. Today, I will explain about types of heat exchanger uh, heat exchanger have a uh, five types uh, like a shell and tube heat exchanger plate heat exchanger plate and shell plate and shell heat exchanger plate fin heat exchanger pillow plate heat exchanger for shell and tube heat exchanger a shell and tube heat exchanger is a class of uh, exchanger design it is a most common type of heat exchanger in an oil refineries and other large chemical process and it's a, and it's suite to for highest pressure application as it name imply this type of heat exchanger consists of a shell with a bundle of tube inside it so we can see the picture uh, the shell and tube in a shell and have a tube in a shell so for next plate heat exchanger a plate exchanger consists of a series of parallel plate that are placed one above the other so as a to allow the formation of a series of channel for fluid to flow between them the space between two adjacent plate from the channel in which the fluid flow so we can see the picture how the plate heat exchanger work so for the next we have a plate and shell heat exchanger this heat exchanger uh, like same with shell and tube but 
this use a plate, not a not use a tube. A plate and shell exchange heat exchanger which a combined plate heat exchanger with shell and tube heat exchanger technologies. The heart of the bead exchanger contain a fully welded circular plate pack made by pressing and cutting round plate and welding them together. You can see the the picture. So next, plate and fin heat exchanger. A plate fin heat exchanger is a type of heat exchanger design that use plate and fin, the chamber to transfer heat between fluid. It is often categorized as a compact heat exchanger to emphasize its relatively, relatively high heat transfer surface area to volume ratio. So the heat transfer in the middle and the parting sheet uh, at the top and the bottom with a sidebar at the side like this picture. So last but not least, pillow plate is change, heat exchanger. The pillow plate consists of two plates which is a spot welder together. The plate are sealed with welding along the contour of plate. The plate is then expand until the desired channel height is achieved. The channel height is the maximum space between the two plate. Uh, so, uh, the picture explain the pillow plate is a uh, like one plate and other plate. The well, the corner, and the middle. So the air can flow at the middle. You can see the picture how they work. So next, I will give to Kairul Ameh for next presentation. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Kairul Ameh bin Jamaluddin from DPU 3A. My matrix number is 01 DPU 19F1026. Today, I will explain about my section that is example and calculation for uh, counter flow and parallel flow. Okay, for the question one, the question is given that mass of water is 1.5 kg per second and the specific heat is 4.187 kg per kg Kelvin is heated from 30 degrees degree Celsius to 68 degree Celsius by 2.5 kg per second of oil mass and the specific heat of oil is 1.9 kJ per kg Kelvin entering at 100 degree Celsius in a counter flow heat exchanger if the overall heat transfer coefficient is 4, 415 watt per meter cube Kelvin calculate the surface area required so the things that question one is area surface, surface area so we already given that uh, mass of water 1.5 and specific heat of water uh, uh, is heated is heated that mean uh, water is a cold liquid Then is heated to 60 degrees Celsius by 2.5 kg per second is a uh, mass of oil and give also given that the specific heat of oil is 1.9 kJ per kilogram entering at 100 degrees Celsius. Okay. First. A mass of water, also known as a 
em and C because uh, is heated okay the CPW 4.187 kilojoule per kilogram is will be a CPC specific heat of cool and TC1 uh, TCI Temperature cold in is 30 degrees Celsius and temperature cold out is 60 degrees Celsius. Okay, for the oil and mass of oil is 2.5. We know as a uh, hot. Hot, so mass m dot h. We also know as m dot h for mass of hot. Okay, the CPO. We can get it as a CPH and THI. So, from the question, we didn't get that THO temperature at out. Okay, also given that um, coefficient. Is four hundred and fifteen watt per meter cube Kelvin. Uh, it also has a U. Okay. The diagram that we can the diagram is like this: the THI enter, the temperature height enter from left and out at a uh, right, then the cold water cold temperature uh, goes in from the right and go out from the left okay here the graph t1 uh, delta t1 and delta t2 the things that we want to search okay first what we need to, ch to search is uh, q to find Q. To find a Q, what we need is uh, enter the the formula. Why I use the mass of code uh, formula because from this formula, so we already given that the mass of code, uh, specific heat of code and the TC temperature code out and temperature code in. So, we write the value that were given and mass of code uh, given that's 1.5 and specific heat of a code is 4.187 the TCO is 60 and uh, minus by TCI is 30 the answer that we will get is 1.5 188415 so we also know as a kilowatt okay next step is to find the THO we already have a TCI TCO and THI but we don't get a THO so to find the THO what we need to do is use the uh, specific heat mass of heat temperature a uh, formula this is a uh, mass of heat formula you can write down the value that given THO not given so it's okay just put THO then the value of Q divided by 4.5 4.75 because 2.5 times by 1.9 is 4.75 so do it and add here we don't want a negative so what we need to do is divide uh, make 
times it to negative so we will get positive 60.27 After that, we need to find the delta T1 and delta T2. Delta T1, what we need to do is, the formula is delta T1 equal to THI minus, uh, minus TCO. Okay. Delta that we want to search, uh, find is here and right here. Okay. Delta T delta T one T H uh, I we already get that T H I already given T H I is one hundred and the T C O why are minus to T C O because T H I right here and T C O right here okay then we get forty then this is for the delta T2. Delta T2. The formula is delta T2 equal to THO minus by TC, TCI. Then we will get the answer is 30.27 degrees Celsius. Second last step is to find LMTD. LMTD. Uh, we use an uh, LMTD formula. So we need to we already get uh, Q as we already find U yes A not LMTD. So now we want to search for LMTD. Okay, to find the LMTD, the formula is delta T1 minus by delta T2 per ln delta T1 divided by delta T2. Okay. So the search the put the value. Then, by using calculator, find the answer. The answer is 34.91 degrees Celsius. Okay. The last is to find the area. Based on the question that it wants us to find the area. To find the area, we can use the formula Q equal to UA LMTD. Okay. We get the UA. All of the uh, value. We have find all of the value. Then only A that we doesn't find. Okay. By using the calculator. Write the. 1.88 exponent k divided by 415 divided by 34.91 okay the answer is 13 13 meter square okay for parallel flow question the data that we get is THI is 64 uh h o is and the h is 30 13 eh m dot h m dot h is 1.45 13 is tci and uh 1.8 is uh m dot c cpc uh specific heat uh, of hot and cold A, cold A is same. Both are at one point two five kilojoule kilogram Kelvin. Okay, so the eighty watt per meter cube is U. 
uh, overall transfer heat coefficient. So here the theta that were given. Okay. For the diagram, you know that for parallel, both are uh, inside goes for to the from the left side and go out from to the right side. Okay, this is E H I from high temperature goes to low temperature. Then the T C I from the low temperature go to high temperature. Here we need to see to find is delta T two and right here is delta T1 ok is this uh, is this Y for T and is this X for L ok first we need what we need to see to find is Q to find a Q we can use uh, we have used we have two formula first is by using m dot h or the second one is we just use m dot c in this in this uh, in this problem in this question we already have uh, thi and tho but we didn't get that tco so we can use uh, m dot h formula because it is complete so easy for us to find q okay m dot h is 1.54 then times to tph 1.25 tph and cpc is same work on 1.25 okay then thi is 64 and tho is 36 if we calculate then we get the answer is 50.75 kilowatt per kilowatt or 50.75 exponent 3 ok second <coughs> what we need to find is TCO because we already get 3 3 temperature THI, THO and TCI but we didn't get T TCO. So to find TCO, we use a uh, M dot C formula. Then we get uh, Q. Q is fifty point seventy five. M dot C is one point eight. M dot C is one point eight. Then uh, CPC is both same. CPC and CPH one point two seven two five. And the TCO, the TCI we want to find, the TCI is 13 degrees Celsius. Okay. <coughs> then we can calculate it by using the calculator. The answer that we get is 35.56 degrees Celsius. Okay. Then after we get the, the answer, we can now we can find the uh, delta T1 and delta T2 delta T1 and delta T2 find delta T1 delta T1 is equal to TH1, THI and uh, minus TCI THI minus TCI TH, THI minus TCI ok to find delta T2 THO minus TCO the THO minus TCO THO minus TCO ok the, the for delta T1 we get that the answer is 51 degrees Celsius and delta T2 is 0 0.44 degrees Celsius next step is find LMTD because of we use LMTD formula so we need to find the L, uh, LMTD why we need to find the why we use the uh, LMTD question because we already have uh, 
uh, three temperature. So if we already just get two temperature, then we can use E N E N E N T U formula, but we already get three temperature. So just use LMPD. The formula for LMPD is delta T one minus delta T two per ln delta T one divided by delta T two. Then we will get the answer is. We will get the answer is Okay, for the conclusion, uh, at the end of this chapter, we will be able to know the types of heat exchanger and the and primary classification of heat exchanger according to the flow arrangement. Among them are parallel flow and counter flow. In addition, we can also find out how to calculate to find parallel flow and counter flow. Okay, thank you.